Hi everyone, welcome to Skillset Studio. I'm Sylvia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to merge multiple Excel files with multiple sheets and CSV files into a single Excel sheet. Before we get started, if you have any questions after the video, feel free to drop a comment. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Here is how we will do it. First, we will load and merge the Excel files. Next, we will do the same for the CSV files. Then we will combine both merged datasets into one. Finally, we will look at how to automate this process with new data. Let's dive into an example to walk through each step. Step one, I have two folders here. One contains all the CSV data and the other contains all the Excel files. Inside the Excel data folder, there are two Excel files, each with three sheets, all sharing the same structure and column names. The CSV data folder also has two CSV files, and these two follow the same structure as the Excel files. Today, we'll combine all of the sheets and files into one single Excel sheet. First, open a blank Excel workbook. Go to the Data tab, click Get Data, then select from File and choose from Folder. I will start by importing the Excel data. Navigate to the Excel data folder, select it, and click open. You will see the two Excel files appear. Now click transform data. To combine all sheets in both Excel files, go to the add column tab and select custom column. I will rename this columns to sheets, but you can name it whatever you like. In the custom column formula, Type Excel doc workbook open parentheses open square black cats content close square black cats closed parentheses and click OK. Next, click the expand icon at the top right of the sheets column, select name and data and click OK. Then click the expand icon at the top right of the sheets doc data column. Ensure all columns are selected and click OK. Now rename the necessary columns. To filter out the headers, click the down arrow in the employee name column and unselect employee name. Then remove any unwanted columns by right-clicking on them and selecting Remove. Repeat this for any other columns you don't need. Once that is done, go to the Home tab and click Close and Low to combine the Excel data. Step two, let's import the CSV files. Go to the data tab, click get data, select from file and choose from folder. Navigate to the CSV data folder, select it and click open. The two CSV files will appear. Click transform data. Click Combine Files, and then OK. It looks like the data from the two CSV files has been merged. Now remove any unnecessary columns by right-clicking and selecting Remove. Step 3. 
go to a pen curious. So that a pen curious as new. And choose three or more tables. We need to append both the CSV and Excel data. So make sure both are in the tables to append box. Move the Excel data from the left to the right by selecting Excel data and clicking the Add button. Once both the CSV and Excel data are in the tables to append box, click OK. Now it looks like all the data from the Excel and CSV files has been combined. Go to the Home tab and click Close and Load. The combined data will load into the append one Excel sheet. Let's format the data. Change the amounts and rates columns to currency format. The date columns to short date format. And align all columns to the left. There will also be two more Excel sheets, one for the combined CSV data and another for the combined Excel data. Now I will save the workbook to my desktop. You can save it anywhere you like and then close it. Step four. For automating this process, when new data comes in, here I have a new CSV file and a new Excel file. I will move these new files into their respective folders, then remove the old data. Now, let's open the workbook again. Go to the Data tab. Select Refresh All and click Refresh All. After a few seconds, you will see that the workbook has updated with the new data. And that is it. You have now learned how to combine multiple Excel files with multiple sheets and CSV files into a single Excel sheet using Power Query, as well as how to automate the process when new data is available. That wraps up today's topic. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.